Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all viewers around the world. Welcome to another episode of Dark Matter 1801, the channel that brings you content about Asian Egyptian, uh, black pharaohs, black history, black music, black films, um, spirituality and consciousness, and much more. Um, today's topic is about the pharaohs of the first dynasty of Egypt. Um, this is a continuation from the first episode, um, the 10 facts about King Nama from the first dynasty of Egypt. Um, if you haven't actually watched that video, I suggest you do so, as in this episode, we go straight into discussing the second king of the first dynasty of Egypt. Before we go into the episode, we would like to state that we were able to find evidence that depicts uh, Nama as a black African from the south and we're also able to find some images of King Oha as well. However, we found it difficult to find um, images or statues of the next eight king from the first dynasty of Egypt. Why do we believe this is so? Um, this is because we believe that um, they're trying to hide the fact that the first dynasty of Egypt, the pharaohs from the first dynasty of Egypt, were black Africans. In most documentary about Nama, uh, Nama is shown as white. However, his true image shows us that he's black, in fact, jet black, and unmistakably so. For example, here is a painting of King Nama. Uh, King Nama is shown slaying his enemy, the Assyrians. Um, the ancient Egyptians actually depict their enemies as they saw them in paintings. So this is why we believe that the ancient Egyptians from the first dynasty of Egypt were black Africans. In another painting um, found in King Ramses III's tomb in the year 1200 BC, um, this is almost 2,000 years after the reign of Nama. Um, as we can see here, the ancient Egyptians depict themselves as black African. The first picture shows indigenous Asian Egyptian. The second picture shows Indo-Europeans. The third shows um, black Africans from other African areas. And the fourth shows um, Semites and Assyrians. This is why it's important for black Africans to rewrite its own history. Uh, we've had scholars in the past who've actually written um, black history and this should be encouraged as well for the black Africans to write about their own history in the near future. Um, here at this channel, we separate the um, wolves from the ships. Um, so where was I? Yes, um, let's go into it. So now we can talk about um, King Hoha from the first dynasty of Egypt. So let's go. King Ha is the first human, ru is the first human ruler to be named in the uh, Palermo Stones. Um, this is why he's often regarded as the uh, first ruler of the first dynasty of Egypt. However, in the uh, king list found in Din Ankar's tomb, um, he is shown as being the uh, second ruler of the first dynasty of Egypt. The king list also found in King uh, Seti's tomb also confirms um, King Oha as the uh, second king of the first dynasty. The king leaks found at Abydos in uh, King Seti's tomb um, shows 76 consecutive ancient Egyptian rulers. I mean, there is no record of any of such thing anywhere else on the planet. Um, you can see um, King Seti um, standing behind the future king, um, Ramsey I. And as you can see in the picture, Ramses is not even on the list. So this is 2,000 years of Egyptian rule with not a single break. I mean, that is magnificent. I mean, look at Seti's um, son in the painting. And you can see the future king, um, Ramses I. And then compare him to the little boy of this picture here. You can see that both of them have actually got braids. Um, braids used to actually be um, a feature or a display of kingship back in ancient Egypt. King Hoa's parents are King Nama and Queen Nebhotep. Um, it seems that King Oha came to power when he was around 30 years old and ruled from between 3100 BC to 2975 BC. King Oha 
is shown in an ivory label, which was found in his mom's tomb um, in Saqqara, in Saqqara um, receiving a ceremony called the South and the North. Um, this may have been thought of as a ceremony uniting the uh, South and North. King Ahas Queen was Benarif and her name was discovered in a number of um, historical pieces all around um, ancient Egypt. Another of King Oha's wife is known as Kenhap. Um, she is thought to be the mother of King Deja. And inscriptions of her name was found in the uh, Cairo Anal Stone. Inscriptions from an ivory uh, tablet from Abydos um, states that uh, King uh, Aha um, led an expedition against his neighbors, the Nubians. On a year tablet, um, a year is explicitly called the smitting of the Tasseti Nubians. King Oha is believed to have um, been killed by an hippo, an animal which is associated with the god Set, um, an archetype uh, four of Horus. King Oha was buried in Abydos. Um, his tomb consists of five uh, subterranean chambers and has 27 storeroom above ground level. The outside of the tomb was uh, designed to resemble the palace of a facade and a pit bolt on the north side of the tomb is thought to have held um, a solar bolt. There were 33 subsidiary chambers um, for servants and officials who, who were thought to have either uh, killed themselves or committed suicide to follow the king in the um, afterlife. Um, king Deja is known to have succeeded King Oha and is known to have reigned for about 57 years. Um, his family is well known and well documented and he has at least um, two wives, Henef and Naknef. Hanef is thought to have been the wife of the king um, due to her name being found on a stella in his tomb. And his second wife, um, Neknef, um, is found on a stella uh, located in his funeral complex. Netep is attested on the uh, Cairo anal stone as the mother of King Deja. Kenhap is attested on the Cairo anal stone as his mother. King Deja is believed to be the father of Meneth um, due to artifacts um, linking um, Teja, Tejet and Dean. Menef ruled as a co-regent to Dean. During the reign of uh, King Deja, um, military exploration was mentioned occurring in the area of Wadi Haifa, which is the modern day Sudan. Carving here shows um, the king's enemy being thrown into the water in front of an Egyptian warship. Trips are also mentioned on the year label to the city of Budo and to the city of Sas found at Abydos. The temple of uh, Sas here was the African medical school from the year 3000 BC to the year 520. 25 BC. There's another year label from Saqqara dating um, to his reign which shows um, human sacrifice. Teja surrounded his tomb with numerous uh, retainers who went to the grave with him. In total there were 318 service graves. Of this um, 76 females were found, 11 males and two holding dwarfs were also found. All were probably service staffs. Um, Tejet, also known as Zet, um, is the fourth ruler of the uh, First Dynasty. Um, his Horus name is Cobra Horus uh, or Serpent of Horus. Tejet's uh, queen was his sister, uh, Menef, who ruled in her own right after the king's death. Tejet and uh, Menef's son is Din and their grandson is Najib. One of uh, uh, Tejet's wife is known as Hanef, um, the goddess of Neth, as seen here. Tejet reigned for about 10 years and detail of his reign is lost in the um, Palema stone. Finds of a vessel fragment and seal impression proves that there were intense trading activities with um, the South Canaan 
which is today known as uh, Palestine and Syria, to get rain for a very short period, meaning that he died before Dean was old enough to rule. King Teja was buried in the Saqqara tomb and a subsidiary tomb shows 174 burial chambers. Uh, Menef was the first queen of the first dynasty of Egypt. Um, she ruled after the death of um, her husband, King Tejet, um, due to the fact that um, King Din was still too young to rule. Queen Menef ruled um, in the year 2950 BC um, for an unknown period. Menef names means the uh, beloved of Neth and her symbol um, also shows Egyptian um, deities. Menef is known as the uh, great granddaughter of Nama, the uh, king of the first dynasty of Egypt. During Menef's reign, the uh, uh, first treasury was established and another department was mentioned in a seal for raising and slaughtering cows. Queen Menef's tomb was found in Abydos um, associated with other pharaohs of that dynasty. King D, also known as Idimu, is the Horus name of the early um, dynastic period who ruled in the first dynasty. King D is the best um, archaeologically attested ruler of the first dynasty. Dean is thought to have brought um, prosperity to his rim and uh, numerous um, innovation is attributed to his reign. The cartouche name of Dean uh, found in the Abydos King list is known as Sepati. King Din is known as the most important ruler of the first dynasty, so we decided to investigate further. This is Ferdinand de Souchot, a Swiss a linguist and a philosopher. He was born in 1857 and died in 1913. According to Ferdinand, the surest way to prove cultural contact between peoples is to adduce linguistic um, evidence. In his book um, titled The uh, History of Africa, the author claimed that the uh, largest inhabitants of ancient Egypt were the Yorubas and more than 500 vocabularies can be deduced from the um, ancient Egyptian language without the mixture of um, Roman and Arabic language. Here are some examples. Wu means rice in both the ancient Egyptian and Yoruba language and the list goes on and on. Dean's name is Shepati in the cartouche found on the uh, King's Abydos list. So we decided to check the hieroglyphs here. We find that uh, Shepati actually is Shepakati, uh, which in Yoruba means um, an important person or a huge personality. King D is also known as Idimu, which in Yoruba means the holder or retainer of a title. So this means that King D's actual name is King Shepakati. When we found out, it was almost like um, uh, discovering um, a pot of gold. As you can also see from the uh, uh, Palerma stone, King uh, Shepakati is also smashing um, his enemy, the Assyrian. Why did they omit um, the car from his name, you may ask? We believe it is because um, they did not want his true identity to be known. Just look at a clear version of the Abydos king list here. Um, king Shepakati is actually fifth on the list. There's a huge gap between his name where the symbol car has been omitted. All important uh, pharaohs on that list have at least um, three symbols. King Din, as we know him now as King Shepakati, is the first Egyptian pharaoh um, to introduce numbers to count. In another Palema stone fragment, you can see um, one of his high official. Um, his name is Inuka. Um, Inuka actually means to count from inside. So can you see that connection? Ka means to count in the Yoruba language as can be seen here in the symbols. This is uh, King Shepakati's Palema stone. If you look to the left hand side, you can actually see the symbols of the hand ho holding up with 10 fingers as if showing how many fingers do I have. We should also not forget that uh, Queen 
uh, Menif is the great granddaughter of the first pharaoh of the first Egyptian dynasty, Nema, and the mother of King uh, Sheikh Bakati. King D, or um, Sheikh Bakadi, uh, reigned for 42 years, um, according to an um, inscription found on the uh, Palema stones. King Sheikh Bakati, also known as King D, uh, was buried in Abydos. His tomb is the first to actually have a staircase in the history of um, Egypt. This has never been found before. We at this channel were the first to actually discover it. Our aim of this uh, channel is to um, contribute to Africa and the human race with um, the discovery of this knowledge. This brings us to the end of part one of this episode. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you at the next episode. Thank you.